In this video, I will show you how to deploy VLC using group policy, and we will be using two methods to deploy it. One is when we assign the policy to our computers, and then the computers install the software during startup, and other one is when we assign the policy to our users, and then the users themselves can install the software whenever they want. And as you can see, I'm starting this video from my GitHub page because there are a few bits of information that I will be using in this video. And also here in the bottom, you can find links to my other videos that are related to this one. For example, here you can find my Windows Server setup. And here are the videos for the extra group policies and settings that I use when deploying software using group policies. And here is about installing and using Wix toolset. And it's a tool that we will use in this video to package the executable into MSI file. And I will leave the URL for this page in the description down below. And now let's get started by downloading VLC. And I will use this link right here. That brings us to VLC main page. And I will click on download VLC. And now we can go to our downloads folder and wait for our executable to download. And as you can see, now we have it here. And the first problem that we need to solve is that when using group policy, we need to use MSI files and VLC only provide exe files. So for that, we will use Wix toolset to package this exe into MSI file. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page. And as you can see here, I provided a Wix configuration file that I will be using in this video to convert that executable into MSI file. And I will be downloading it by clicking on this link right here. And then we can go back to our downloads folder. And now here we have our executable and the VLC configuration file for Wix. I will right click it and open with Visual Studio Code. And as you can see right here, I already filled in all the necessary information for Wix to package this file. And if you want to try to use this exact uh, configuration file yourself and convert your executable into MSI file, make sure that the file name is correct because this file name contains the version number and in time this version num number will change. And also make sure to change this di directory. And this directory is the path where we currently have our executable. So for me, it's D drive downloads folder. This is D drive downloads folder. And that's basically it. Now we can close our Visual Studio code. And now let's go to our command line. And here we first, we need to navigate to our downloads folder. And for me, it's CD D downloads. And as you can see here, I have my executable file and the VIX configuration file. So for the VIX to package the executable into MSI, I need to write VIX, build, and then provide the configuration file name. And then click enter. And as you can see here, now in the in our downloads folder, we have VLC MSI file. And now we can use the MSI file with our group policy. So for that, I will copy the MSI file, go to Vember workstation where I have my Windows Server instances installed, and I will move it to my Windows Server desktop. And now we need to move this file to a network share where our users and computers can access it. So for that, I have my file server SRV02. It has this software share that's currently empty, and here I will create a new folder and I will call it VLC and I will move uh, the MSI into that folder. And here it's very important that you have correct folder and share permissions. Let's check the folder permissions by going to properties and then going to security. And as you can see here, I have authenticated users with read permissions. And I'm using authenticated users because authenticated users covers both users and computers from our domain. So uh, all the computers and all the users can read from this folder. If you want more information about how to create this share, watch my video, uh, how to install file server role and prepare a share for software deployment. Now I will close this window and we can go to our server manager to start creating our 
group policies. For that I will go to tools and group policy management. Then I will select group policy objects. Let's expand it and right click it and select new. And the first policy that I will be creating is when we assign the policy to our computers and then the computers install the software during startup. So I will name this uh, policy assign VLC and click OK. As you can see, the policy appeared here. I will right click it, click on edit. And because uh, this is a group policy for our computers, we need to go to computer configuration, expand policies, expand software settings and select software installation. Now here in this window, we can right click, go to new and select package. And here it's very important that we select the file from our network because it gives us an ability to select a local file but in this case it would create the group policy but software installation would fail for our computers because they would not have access to this server's uh, desktop. So always make sure that the link here leads to a network location. So and now I will write SRV02, the file server that has software share, VLC folder and then here we can click on the file to assign it to this policy and the default option assigned is fine for us i will click ok and basically we are done here we can close this window and the policy appeared here let's click on it and for this policy i will use vmi filtering here i will select 64-bit os and that's because i don't want this policy to install on computers that have 32-bit operating system and for creating VMI filters, you can watch uh, one of the videos that are in the GitHub list. And the other thing that we can do is go to details and disable the user configuration settings because this policy currently has only settings for our computers. And the last thing that we need to do is to link this policy to organization unit that holds the computers on which we want to install the software. In my case, this will be domain computers one where I have a single client. So for that, I will click on the policy and hold and then drag it and drop it on the organization unit. And let's expand the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared here. And that means that the policy is linked to this organization unit. We can also click on the organization unit and see our policy right here. And now we can go to one of our client computers and see if this policy is working. For that I prepared my, this machine right here. Let's open a command line and let's do a GP update. And as you can see right here, it is informing us that it detected a software installation policy and to install the software, it needs a reboot. So for the reboot, I will write shutdown minus R minus T zero. And let's see what's going to happen. As you can see, it is informing us that it is currently installing VLC. And now let's log into our client to see if the installation was successful. And as you can see, now we have our VLC media player on our desktop. Let's double click. And it seems that it is working just fine. And now let's go back to our server and create another policy where we will assign it to our users so they can install VLC if they want to or when they want to. So for that, let's go back to the domain controller. Click on group policy objects, right click it then new and this time i will name it publish vlc and click ok now let's right click it click on edit and because this time it's the user configuration we need to go to user configuration expand policies expand software settings select software installation and right click in the window here go to new and select package 
once more make sure that the link here uh, goes into a uh, network share and then select the file here we can leave it at default published and click ok and once again we are done here we can close this window let's select publish vlc policy that we just created go to details and here for the gpo status we can this time disable the computer configuration because currently this policy has only user configuration in it and the last thing is to link this policy to organization unit where we have our users so for that once more i will click and hold and then drag the policy to the organization unit on which i want to link this policy and click ok once again the policy appeared here and also here now let's go to other client computer as you can see we currently don't have vlc here and as you can see here i made this icon that goes straight into the software installation menu but because the policy didn't apply just yet it didn't appear so for it to appear here we need to open a command line and type a gp update and now let's wait for the policy to apply and now it's done applying the policy so we can go back to the inst program installation menu right click and do refresh and as you can see we have our package right here i will double click it and it will start the vlc installation it's done installing vlc i'll double click on the icon here and it seems that it is working just fine and that's basically it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more and see you in the next one